The idea of a Tubac T-bone was to recreate this incredible Tuscan experience using the flavors of uh, Arizona. Thinly sliced jalapeno chilies, chopped fresh cilantro, thinly sliced garlic, fried in olive oil in a cast iron American skillet, and then poured over this crustily grilled steak. First up on deck, a Tubac T-bone, inspired by the classic Tuscan Bisteca alla Fiorentina, with a southwestern twist. The T-bone is actually two steaks in one, a meaty, richly flavored New York strip and a tender filet mignon, connected by a T-shaped bone. Next step is to make the rub. It starts with ancho chili powder, add dried oregano, ground cumin, garlic powder, mustard powder, and salt. And what do you notice about this rub? It contains not a whit of sugar. Now sprinkle the rub on the T-bones on both sides. To generate some smoke flavor, we'll open this smoker box add some soaked mesquite chips. And as always, before putting the steaks on, brush and oil your grill grate. And here's a neat trick for oiling a grate. It's a chunk of beef fat. We're working over a very hot fire here. One Mississippi, ouch. That's what you need to sear in the grill marks. So put the steaks on the grill. So how do you lay on that handsome crosshatch of grill marks, which is the signature of any master griller? We'll arrange the steaks on the grill running on the diagonal to the bars of the grate, then give each steak a quarter turn after two minutes. So after four minutes, turn the steaks and check out those grill marks. Now, while the steaks are grilling on this side, let me show you how to test for doneness. I call it the four-finger thermometer at the end of your hands. Touch the tip of your thumb to the tip of your index finger and feel the pad of flesh at the base of your thumb. In a rare steak, it will feel soft and squishy. Now, move your thumb over to your middle finger and feel that pad. It's a little firmer. That is the feel of a medium rare steak. Move it over again to your ring finger. That pad is quite firm with just the gentlest resistance. That corresponds to a medium steak. Finally, move your finger over to your baby finger. That is the feel of a well done steak. That's not something you ever want to do, folks. And don't forget to crosshatch the grill marks on the bottom of the steak. So to do so, again, give each steak a quarter turn. And you see I've moved away from the center zone to dodge some of those flare-ups. I cannot stress the importance enough of not overcrowding your grill. So give the steak the poke test. It feels like a perfect medium rare. But to play it safe, you can check using an instant read meat thermometer. Don't insert it in the meat this way. Insert it this way, through the side of the steak. What you want is about 130 to 135 degrees. Remember the steak is going to continue to cook after you take it off the grill. Okay, so these guys are ready. And Meanwhile, let me show you how to make the tubac topping. Now, another nice feature on a grill is a gas side burner. I've preheated a cast iron skillet and add about a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Then add 
thinly sliced garlic, thinly sliced jalapeno chilies, and chopped fresh cilantro. Now cook these ingredients together until fragrant and golden brown. So with the steak, you can serve some grilled corn and grilled jalapeno chilies. And our Arizona hellfire is ready. Pour the sizzling garlic and jalapenos over the T-bones. Tubok T-bone, a steak that explodes with flavor. Medium rare. Mmm.